Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And yes, the hair is different. I did my hair yesterday. I, for those who've been following me since last year, y'all already know I fell in love with the blonde look. I didn't realize that I, well, I look good <laughs> as a blonde. I didn't even know because I didn't start really having blonde hair until like last year. Um, I did blonde streaks forever in high school, but you know, it wasn't given what need to be gave because number one, it wasn't professionally done. And number two, yeah, your girl had some work to do when it came to the fashions and whatnot. Now I feel like at my older age, I know how to, you know, give the zhuzh that is giving. So yeah, this is a little bit play of like the Beyonce XOXO look that she had off the Beyonce album. Um, I don't know. It works for me too. Like I always liked it when I saw it on her and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So last year I tried it and I was like, yeah, it's my favorite look easily, hands down. Um, it works for all occasions. I can run with this hair, it's nice and light. It doesn't, um, you know, cause problems. I think I do have a tutorial of a Get Ready to Go Outside With Me series on the channel for this. But that's not even why you're here. This is Get Fit With Me Presents Accountability. And also too, I am gonna give some channel updates um, on this particular um, video. So first things first. So for those who don't know, I went on vacation, well now almost a month ago, <laughs> and I actually twisted my ankle. And I twisted it, it wasn't a horrible twist where like I can't run at all, but it was clearly not a good twist either. It wasn't like a shake it off type of twist. It was it was enough where it stopped, it pretty much stopped my training. Um, the good news is, and I think I mentioned this in the last video, the half marathon I was gonna sign up for and do, it sold out so I came and do it even if I wanted to. Um, I mean, some people want to exchange bids, but it's like, you know, I'm not going to do all that for something that I'm not really ready for anyway. There's no point. So, um, that's kind of, so it's kind of a bittersweet thing, but it's also kind of a good thing because for those who already know, my race that I care the most about is the 50K that I have in the fall. Um, I want to run that at a decent time. I want to get the weight down. I want to be back to, or similar to where I was in 2019, which... Doable. <laughs> so with that being said, um, for the accountability piece of this, one of the things I have done um, and have been doing is I am now officially, I've ran two weeks in a row, three times a week. Um, last week was the first time I ran paying three without having to have icy hot on my ankle. Um, and then I bumped it up. I ran four miles and didn't bother me. I actually had a decent pace considering the fact that I'm coming back and my lung capacity, breathing capacity was very good. Um, Cause the other thing is I haven't gotten my allergy shots lately because for those who don't know, I was in between jobs for a while. So I had to wait for my insurance and all that to, you know, now, I mean, clearly I have another job again, but I had to make sure everything was st stable before I went to resume any type of medical stuff. So this week we're doing all that. So I'm actually getting, going to the eye doctor today after work. Um, and then also we'll be going to get my shots. So there's that. Um, but with that being said, um, one of the things I did decide to be a little bit more focused on was instead of being so obsessed with my training program and sticking to it, I want to ramp it up where I actually can comfortably do it and, and, and there's no pain. And if I miss a day, I'm not beating myself up over it anymore, which for those who have known me for a long time, y'all know I like to, I'm my own worst critic. <laughs> so um, this is a new, this is a new thing for me to actually just be like, you know what, it's okay. Um, but one thing I did add to my routine that I did do last week and I'm going to continue on doing is last week, every single day, I made sure I got 10,000 steps in. Um... So we're going to continue that. I want to make sure I get my steps in every day, whether I'm running or not, um, because I feel better when I do that. Um, my personality pre-pandemic is coming back out, which 
for those who knew me pre-pandemic, I was a lot more social than I am now. Um, I don't really want to be as social as I was pre-pandemic, but I also want more than what I've been doing lately. I feel like I just kind of got a little lazy. So we're trying to fix that. <laughs> so the other thing besides that is I also have started, um, again, the running. I, I went to the gym three times, no, twice last week, only twice. This week we're gonna go for the four. I think we can do that. And I'm gonna try to run four. So it's gonna go four, four. Um, I did not do yoga last week, but I also did the time, a couple times I did go to the gym or have been going to the gym lately. I've been trying to bike if the weather permits. Um, I don't think I did it all last week, but we're gonna be adding cycling to the mix of this too. So that's gonna be another moving piece. So that also brings to the announcement that I have regarding how things are gonna look and feel going forward with this channel. So for those who don't know, besides the Get Fit With Me series, my travel vlogs I have going on, which is the Seeing Things Differently um, series I have, um, the Get Fit With Me series, regular Get Fit With Me series, not just with this one, um, and the um, Get Ready To Go Outside series, which by the way, I haven't done that for a while. I could have done it for this, but I was in a hurry. I wanted to just get this done, and this probably won't last too long. Um, I'm going to give this about three, maybe four weeks tops. Um, and then I'm probably going to go natural again because I have to start swimming. Um, because my triathlon training starts soon. So I'm going to add swimming into the equation of all this too. So with that being said, something has to give. I have to give something up. And for those who probably have figured it out, um, I think... The end of this month will be the last of me posting the Get Fit With Me series, the yoga edition, and really just doing the yoga for a while. I think I'm going to take the summer off of that. Um, it's for a couple reasons. I've kind of alluded to a couple times. The content creators that I follow that I review, they're not posting as consistently as they were before because, well, they probably have a yoga studio where they're doing the things. And then also to... Um, everyone's trying to get back to their, their old, like old slash new norm, you know, not everyone was so YouTube and internet reliable pre pandemic, including me. I didn't even have this channel. I wasn't even thinking about this channel at that time. I was really trying to get my life together <laughs> to be truthful, but, um, which ironically I still am, but just a different way. I feel like you're always trying to do that, but that's a whole nother thing. But I will say this though. Because there is lack of content for me to review, and also the fact is, and you probably can have seen it the last couple times I've done the yoga videos, my motivation for it is starting to go away. Um, I enjoy the reviews I'm doing for shows, so that will resume if there are any new shows for me to review. Currently, the only show that I'm reviewing right now is uh, Martha's Vineyard, um, Summer's House Martha's Vineyard. I believe there's only going to be like maybe two, maybe three episodes left tops I'm going to be reviewing of that because there was an episode last night that that's going to be coming up on that. I mean, there's, yeah, there isn't going to be that many left because um, I think um, about the time this come out, the season finale will come out and I'm going to be reviewing that. And then I don't know if the reunion is going to be one part or two part. So... And then I'm not watching Real Housewives of um, Jersey, New Jersey, because I, <laughs> Potom Potomac and how toxic that one was wore me out. I can't do another one that's like that. And for me, I'm not going to do another one that's like that that's not black of a cast. So to me, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm not going to do that one. I'm not even watching it, to be truthful. Um... But I guess, the, and I'm still waiting on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think I am going to try Real Housewives of Potomac because I do want to see what the dynamic looks like because there are quite a few people that left. Um, so I do want to see what that looks like, even though I'm annoyed that Ashley's still on the show, but whatever. Um, so I'm thinking I'll have those shows I'm going to review. 
Um, if there's any other shows that you guys want me to review, that's an all black show or it doesn't necessarily have to be all black show, but something that kind of, you know, is in sync with this channel, let me know. Oh, one more thing that I am going to review, which is probably going to be a whole entire <laughs> 360 for those who don't really, who are following me so far. I am going to review the Summer Olympics. I hope y'all know that. <laughs> Um, for those who have not known this already, but I'm surprised you don't, I'm a huge track and field fan. And not just track and field, um, distance running. Um, I, I've never, I don't really speak about it too much, but I literally watch all distant running series and things like that. That's actually the other reason why I have Peacock is really for that. Um, <laughs> the Real Housewives thing became like a happy accident. I really was watching it mainly for like, track and field because most track and field stuff is through NBC and um, Universal. So, um, because again, for those who don't know, track and field happens every year. It's not just the Olympic years. There's different, there's different series and things like that, that you can follow like your app, your favorite athletes all throughout the year. And I, I, I'm one of those people who watches those things. I'm very invested. I've been invested in track and field since I was a little girl. That's actually one of the things that my dad and I still bond about to this day. So it is very much dear to my heart. So I am going to be reviewing those things. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show much of the races because copyright, but I will be reviewing and kind of giving you some feedback and also even letting you know when you can watch it if you're in the United States of these Americas. <laughs> in the words of um, Ashley Miller, shout out to Ashley Miller, a fellow YouTuber. I just love what she says that, it cracks me up. Anyway, um, so with that being said, um, yeah, so the yoga series, Get Fit With Me series, I, you probably won't see much of that. I am gonna continue the Get Fit With Me series presents accountability because it does actually help me out. <laughs> And I'm hoping it's helping you out at the same time as I'm as I'm holding myself a combo. Hopefully, I'm holding you a combo, a combo at the same time. So I'm going to continue that. But I just really want to enjoy the summer this year. And I don't want to feel the pressure of having to constantly post. And I also do want to really focus on like my training. Um, I'm really, really serious about getting back to my old running form. And... Any distractions I could cut out, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and that even includes, like, how much I go out and stuff. Like, I've even tried to limit that, too. Um, I'm actually only going out, like, twice a week anymore. Um, I might go out for lunch dates and things like that. But as far as, like, the libations, we're, 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 we're on a mission. <laughs> okay? So, anyway... I just wanted to give you, though, an update on what's going on with this channel along with what's going on with my fitness journey. Um, I am still at the same weight as I was before. I did gain a little bit of it back from when I came back from Puerto Rico. Because Puerto Rico did me some good when it came to the weight loss. I'm not going to hold you. Um, probably because I wasn't really um, drinking much alcohol or anything that was carbonated. And I wasn't stressed. And for me, a lot of my waking is very much stress related. But the other thing I also wanted to share randomly, I don't think I did share before, but can you see this? Okay, for those who don't know, um, I don't think I shared it before, but with my former role that I had before, it stressed me out so much that I was like doing the gross habit of biting my nails. And I know that's disgusting. I know it, I know that. But habits, you don't think about that stuff once they have it. And um, anyway, so since I have been relieved, <laughs> I've been able to, I haven't felt the urge or need to want to bite my nails. I've been very much not nervous like that. I don't have the upper back pain that I was having in the knots. Um, and again, the weight is becoming more of an under control thing. Right now, it's doing something right now, but that's because I think I do have a, um, an infection right now. <laughs> um, not to be TMI, but women shit. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's what's going on right now. Um, but once that gets sorted out, um, I think I'll, I'll should be good. And a lot of that has to do again with stress. Like 
a lot of the stress I had going on is slowly but surely leaving the body and I'm starting to feel the way I used to feel pre-pandemic and pre just feeling stressed out of my mind. <laughs> so there's that and I think that will help when it comes to all the other things. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful for you. I know it was a lot about me, but hopefully whatever I'm putting out here is relatable. And um, also too, now you have an update on what's going on with this channel. So um, I'm, I will still be around as far as posting things because I do still want to actively try to grow this channel um, because it is a much smaller channel and I do want to grow it. But um, yeah, I need a break. <laughs> I've been posting consistently since I started this channel, so like almost a year and a half of just constantly posting. And for those who saw my earlier videos, I was literally posting every day for a while. So it's time to, you know, take a break and then I'll get back to it come the fall and winter months, mainly the winter months. And then also too, I do have a couple of the Seeing Things Differently series that you'll see more of soon because I am planning on doing more traveling. So there's that. But anyway, that does um, conclude the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.